So 100 people get hurt by injuries or like things at home hurt them, like fall on them or something. Well, in my case, it was an animal. <laughs> um, the lesson I learned from the incident was never take life for granted because you could lose something, like an arm or a leg or um, an eyeball. <laughs> uh, so me and my friend, she's really like a long time old friend. Um, we used to hang out a lot and it was time for me to like go to her house because she moved and I was going to her house to hang out again. I was about seven maybe. Uh, I came over and she has a small dog and the dog never really liked me. <laughs> I, I, I always came over and petted it but it kept barking at me and wasn't really happy with me. So I tried, I came over, I came inside and they usually put the dog away in like a fence area and the dog got out and I was bending down to put my stuff back and it bit me in the face <laughs> and now I have this uh, scar right here um, and I don't ever smile like that because it's kind of weird and it just looks really bad <laughs> but it I didn't have stitches on it it wasn't it didn't like hurt that bad I I honestly don't remember what happened after that because I think I might have like blacked out or I was crying too bad <laughs> They put the dog away, and I called my mom, and she said, well, does the dog have its shots? And so I had to ask my friend's mom, and she said, yeah, it does, so that was good for me. I didn't have to get tetanus shot. And so I was just bleeding, and I didn't go to the hospital or anything. They just put, like, bandages and peroxide. Peroxide was the worst part of everything. Um, and... When I first got bit, I swore to God that it hit my eye because my eye was just like, it was all red and it just looked bad. And so I was like freaking out. I was asking her, where did it bit me? Where did it bit me? And she told me that it was my cheek. And I got more calm. I settled. And that was it for that one. And so my next incident with another pair of dogs was um, my friend lives across the street, Kira. Um, she has like five different dogs. They're all small and not very nice. <laughs> I was going over to her house, I came inside, and they've, they've never done anything bad to me. They've always been really nice and calm and they just bark. And so I stayed inside, we kind of hung out for like hours and it was starting to get dark and so I was like, oh, okay, maybe I should go home. I was go walking out and the dog bit me in the ankle. And so I was like limping home. I came inside. My mom's like, what happened? I just started bawling. I was like, the dog bit me in the ankle. It hurt so bad. I had to take a shower. And my mom was freaking out. She didn't know like if their dogs had gotten the shots. So she just she was just freaking out. I was like, mom, calm down. And so I had to like text Kira and she wasn't texting me back and I had to like go back over there and I was like, I'm not coming inside, <laughs> come outside. And so she came outside and like told me her dogs got the shots and then my mom was still like, oh, what if they're lying? And I was like, mom, just calm down. Everything's okay. And so that was over. And yeah, it was like another time. It was like two years ago, I think. I was walking outside with my friend, uh, Jessalyn, older girl, and uh, there was a runaway dog. <laughs> it was another small dog, and I was like, I ain't going near it. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> so I like started walking away. I was like, Jessalyn, you can handle that dog. <laughs> so um, she was like being a distraction, and I just kind of just ran away because I was tired of getting bit. And so she got bit in the process. She got bit in the front of her ankle, but she was fine and the dog had, it, had its tetanus shot. And so what the audience can learn from this is that never take life for granted because with my first situation, I could have lost my eye. So you don't want to take life for granted because you could lose something special to you, like an 
arm or a leg or something like that. Um, I've never got stitches with any of the accidents. The one on my ankle really didn't pierce much of the skin. It just kind of did a little, just a little bleeding, but not bad. Um, uh, none of the times that I've got bed, I've been to the hospital. I've been through a lot of accidents, and I've never been to the hospital, so I guess that's a plus. Um, You're good. Okay, thank you.